Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so, we are doing Assassin's Creed Revelations today. We are finally starting this game. Which I'm excited for. Uh, if I sound a little weird, I'm just not really feeling all that great right now. Uh, had a, had a rough, uh, night last night and a uh, pretty rough morning this morning. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna do Assassin's Creed Revelations, so let's just, you know, go ahead and click on it and get started. Uh, this is, as I've said before, this is my favorite Ezio game. So, I'm really happy to be playing it again. Because it's been... I mean, it's, it's, it's like... It's like I'm parroting myself at this point with the Ezio games. It's been five or six years since I've played it. But I thoroughly enjoyed this game when I first played it. Like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair. A stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden, <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people, the ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. So I think the area we're going into is called the Black Room. I mean, just went full Matrix there. I'm gonna turn this back down. There, I had the, uh, the game turned up a little bit, so because there were no subtitles, I wanted to make sure that you guys could hear it just fine. What's happening? I can't move. I, I can't. No. Hang on. Let me see if I can't do that right now. Here we go. I like this alternate Desmond, like this negative Desmond in like the black room. You just walked right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Ugh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus. What a shock we suffered out there. 
Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind is broken. Broken. She'll find you. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now. Let's talk. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worth it now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning, when you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh, I thought you knew. Lucy. God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Alright, well, we're just gonna run straight in. We don't got time to waste. Jeez, a lot of teams worked on this game. Quebec made Syndicate, I think. That's insane. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, uh, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. 
Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far, to find clarity, to find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair, so that I may better understand the purpose of our fight, and my place in it. anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. So not only was that my favorite trailer to ever exist in the Assassin's Creed series, that is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire Assassin's Creed series. It is just such an amazing scene, and I love Ezio's narrating on top of it. Uh, and just falling like all of that distance, landing like no big deal, and then just flipping the hood back up in just such an amazing way. It's like, oh, Ezio, you're the best, man. I forgot how this game looked. I remember how the map looked. My, my biggest issue with this game, and it's really more of a nitpick than anything else, is uh, I just didn't like the the dark blue on the light gray uh, with the map. Like, just... Like, see, I, like, I just didn't like this color palette. And they did the exact same thing in, uh, uh, I think, 3 and Rogue. And I just... Don't much care for that, personally. Also, this is all of Masayaf. I recognize this map just by looking... I mean, obviously, we're in Masayaf. But just looking at the map alone, I recognize this. I mean, this is where we left from Kingdom. We would, like, come up. We'd come through here. Then we'd, uh... I think how I did it was I ran along here and then come up. The, came up this way. This was when I was running down through Masayaf. I would jump down through here. Then I would do the Leap of Faith right here onto a, a thing right here and then run down and across. But when you were running up, you had to come up and around this way. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is the garden where we fought Amu Alim. Like, I, 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 I recognize this map because it, it's it's Masayaf. They did nothing to change it. This doesn't look like they did. But I just love the way this game looks. Outside, I, the color the color palette for the map does look good in this game, but for a map, I just don't like it. Aesthetically, it looks nice. In practice for the game, I don't agree with it. Also, I've probably said this before in 2 and in Brotherhood, but this is my favorite Ezio outfit. I absolutely love this outfit on Ezio. objective. I completely forgot to look at that. I think this game still only has one optional objective per mission. Yeah. I completely forgot I needed to look for that. But, uh, because it didn't tell me right off the bat. I had to search for it. I also could have thrown someone onto that and killed them. But just look at how this game looks compared to, like, Brotherhood. I mean, their character models are slightly better. Uh, the animation looks a little smoother. Uh, the locations look great. As always, really. Like, aesthetically, I even loved how Rome looked aesthetically. If you remember when I was, uh, when I climbed, climbed on top of, uh, uh, the Castel San Angelo and I was looking at all of Rome, like, that was a really cool view. I just didn't like navigating through it. 
Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, Altair. Oh, we were almost synchronized there. I'm just gonna kinda run around really quickly, look for like treasure chests or something. Okay. I can't climb up on that side. I think I have to follow Altair's path. Oh man, thank god there's a haystack still there. Oh, wait. That was a real gamble. Try it, big boy. I just I love the aesthetic of this game. I really do. It's it's really dull and drab like the colors. You know, there's really like dark grays and blues and like uh uh like tans. Am I actually in a mission now? No, okay. Please, I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstone? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Do not fail a single tail. Okay.
Oh man, it's almost like a homecoming of some kind. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Ignore me, Kirillo, but he seems to have found us. Panic! Panic! Oh, there is none. Okay, well, I'll take it. This would not be fun, because this is uh, not exactly smooth ground. You. Ow. 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 I feel like there was an objective, like there there should have been one here. It's like like do it without getting No? Okay. I'm not really paying attention, if I'm being honest, so that's why I'm getting hit a lot. Get on. I just gotta hold on for a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, that still hurts me. Oh, well, okay. There's nothing I can really do about that. I'm sure there was. I just didn't see it. I got hit a lot. I probably should have actually actively tried to not get hit in that one. I really wasn't trying. I was just holding up. Oh yeah, I, I got him in the rough. I forgot about that until just now. There's like rough zones that act actively damage the carriage. Like, see that right there? Ah, uh, he knocked me into it. Oh, I was about to drive right- I drove into it a little bit. Is there- is this still the same mission? Still no optional objective? Okay. I keep checking because I'm like worried. <laughs> Yeah, get in there. Oh god, I need to go away. Knock him into another. Uh... Oh god, this isn't gonna be good for me. Yeah, that was really bad. Th there's been no, absolutely no, uh, rough zones for him. Just me. That's it. Yep. That was kind of dumb. Like he got, I knocked him into one at the very beginning, and it did like not much to him. And then I just was constantly having to dodge those. Like, come on, game. Don't give him all of Great Start. Don't give him uh you know all of the opportunities for that. Oh come on, there's no way he had a longer wind up than I did. See like that didn't do much to him. And then I'm I'm knocked immediately into one. Alright, wind up. I'm gonna Ah he's gonna hit me into it. I don't know how he's getting a longer wind up. Like, this should absolutely be me. Oh no. That's not. Ah! Why am I the only one that's getting rough terrain? I know it's not a randomized map, it's a se actually a set map, but why is it that only I get rough terrain? I should be able to knock him into some as well. How did that hurt me? Come on, game. And I didn't knock him- I didn't knock him into the terrain. That's just perfect. Well, for the first time, I'm actually ahead of him in health. See, I got knocked into that still. Like, that just sucks.
understand me. Nothing gets through. Leandros! Where? Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. I mean, am I though? Or throw yourselves into the canyon. Kill at least five guards from a haystack. Oh my god, come on. Am I going this way? Hang on. Uh, I am feeling pretty not great right now. Do I have any medicine? Can I loot the guards for medicine? I'm glad I found some lamb's blood on that guy. I imagine Etsy is just like, hmm, lamb's blood. That would look great on my uh, mantle. I know it's a bomb ingredient, but. Alright, so I need to kill five guards in haystacks, I think is what it said. I need to find some haystacks. Here we go. Hey, 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 you can look at me. Oh, man, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I need to catch one of these dudes. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, well, I got both of their attention. That's not ideal. Really? No way. Wow. How did I get that lucky?
glow. Oh, there's a lot of haystacks. Come down here and find out, dude. Nowhere left to run now. Not for me. And not for you. Kill that dog. Cut him down. I probably should search for more. Uh, that does the pain. <laughs> At your age, that's the best you can ask for. <laughs> Let's see, it's 1511. That would make Ezio 52 right now. still in the same mission I'm, I'm i'm sorry i'm kind of like half paying attention i'm just yeah yeah i'm just preoccupied oh god so this is where we are we got guys shooting at me my favorite thing in an assassin's creed game your broken blade Ezio Yeah, we did it. This apple. It is a remarkable piece of work. Feel the material, hard as steel, but very light. You really want to be fooling with that thing? I do. I absolutely do. I have been waiting a long time to get my hands on one of these. Okay, you're making me nervous, Phil. Don't be. I don't think I have the right genes to properly wield it. Oh, but Desmond, you think he does? What the hell just happened? You were snooping. 
wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact. Whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise, it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. All right, so... I don't think there's much else we can do here. I don't think I can do any Desmond sequences until we uh, start getting some Nanimous Fragments. So, I think we are going to have to end this one here. So, thanks everyone for watching. Sean, oh, hang on. Hey, what's happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... They buried her already. I heard. In a little cemetery outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God. Things got so fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but with the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna end this one here. Tomorrow we'll do sequence two. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. this. Like I said, this is my favorite Ezio game. So I'm looking forward to finally getting back into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh,